Hey guys, it's Millie. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a sort of little chat, short and sweet, hopefully, about manifestation, affirmations, meditation, um, productivity, how to keep busy, basically, how to keep your mind working and staying positive at the same time. So obviously we're all suffering in lockdown. Um, so I thought this was a good video. So let's just get started. There's this affirmation going around on TikTok that is, I don't chase, I attract. What belongs to me will simply find me. So I just seen it and I was like, let's give this a go. It seems to be working for everyone else. My manifestations tend to work anyway, just because I'm usually in the right mindset. But throughout lockdown, I don't know why, but my frequency, my mind has just been a bit off. So manifestations haven't been manifesting as quickly or as positively as I wanted them to. Why not give this one a go? So I started saying it, I was walking around my house before I brushed my teeth, um, when I was on the toilet, when I was washing my hair, when I was in the bath, when I was in the shower. All I was saying is I don't chase, I attract what belongs to me will simply find me. Within one day, my phone was blowing up. Like the amount of people hitting me up was mad. <laughs> Bear in mind, my phone is the driest phone you'll probably, possibly ever could have. Not my fucking friend. All right. Friend. <laughs> I don't ever really text anyone. <laughs> so I knew that was going to come anyway because it was my birthday. But on top of the, that, the manifestations brought back so many people that I didn't think were ever good, I was ever going to talk to in my life again. Not only that, friends that haven't hit me up in a while text me it overwhelmed me because my head was not in the right mindset to manifest that be in the right headspace don't start manifesting something that you're not prepared to do just drained my energy to zero like i had no energy all my energy was being wasted on them right wavelength don't manifest money if you're not prepared to work for it don't manif manifest love if you can't love yourself don't manifest friends if you're a toxic person yourself and you can't give friendship to someone else you want to make sure you're on the same wavelength as them if they're not on the same frequency level as you that you manifesting are up here and the person you're manifesting is down here so whether that's they're toxic or they're just not on the same they're not maybe spiritual they're not in the same sector as you and what you do by talking to them and giving you giving your energy to them you're not receiving the energy back so what you're doing is you're just lowering your frequency um and then you just end up clashing because you're not right for each other because you were up here and they were down there and now you're lowering your frequency to them you get what i mean not as in morals or anything like that but just spiritually and stuff like that you're not on the same frequency how do you manifest like how how do you do it speaking word of mouth so I just go around my house, do my daily activities, and I say it out loud. Anything I want to manifest, specifically, I say it out loud. You want to say the manifestation, and you want to let it go. Because sometimes when you want to let something go, your subconscious plays some games by simply thinking that you already have it. If you think that you already have what you're manifest manifesting, then there'd be no need for you to think about it. So you could chill out. You're gonna just treat yourself and talk like you already have that 1K. So this is my, manif I don't, I need to be careful what I'm showing you. <laughs> Cause I have some weird, not even weird, but I have manifestations where I'm manifesting um, specific things that you just can't see. <laughs> so for example, money, this is the 369 method. Um, manifesting money. I will receive an abundance of money soon. And then I'm grateful for the abundance of money I've received. Uh, love, I will attract love. I am grateful for love. Growth, I will attract growth. Um, I will grow. True friends, I will attract true friends. I'm grateful for the true friends I have. Self, but it's just me writing random sentences about what I wanna manifest. Um, one place I find good affirmations is on Pinterest, by the way. I write a diary entry like I already have it. So meditation goes along perfectly with manifesting. And that's because meditation gets you in a clear mindset and brings you to a higher frequency, which can then attract more things because you're at a higher level um, of self-worth, self-love, all of that than you were before, is I find meditation frequency sounds listen to songs that have a like a higher frequency in them so i know that scissor s z a um and it's these 
protection mantra. So try that one. Personally, I had an amazing, unreal experience whilst I was in the bath. I've never felt anything like that, apart from the first time I meditated. And one thing you need to learn with meditation is not every single time you meditate will you feel uh, like this overwhelming feeling. So sometimes you won't have that overwhelming feeling and that might just be because your frequency is a little bit off or it's just not meant to happen that time. And people think meditation is this big complex thing. It's really not. It's just sitting with yourself, calming yourself and centering yourself. So the next thing I wanted to go on to was productivity during lockdown. If you do tiny little things throughout your day that make you feel uncomfortable, if your productivity levels can increase by one percent each day over a, a span of a year. Whereas what most of us do is we cram in productivity into one month, let's say, out of the whole year, pushing all of your energy into one part of the year. And the rest of the year, your energy seems drained and you're not yourself and you don't feel motivated. And that's simply because you're not spreading your energy out and mental stimulation is so important throughout your day. Do not go on your phone. Go in on your phone in the morning for the first time, lowers your frequency instantly. Don't have to straight away cut yourself off from everything that you do usually do. Just slowly change these little things and do squats until you can't anymore. Do press ups, do push ups, do ab workouts until you can't do it anymore before you do anything with your day. Then get up, make your bed, instantly feel more productive. Then get in a cold, freezing cold shower for as long as you could possibly bear and do little things like that throughout your day making yourself feel uncomfortable is probably the best thing you can ever do in your life go for the job offer you never thought you could get message a brand that you've always wanted to work with and you never thought you could i feel like we all have them days where we go to bed and we're like okay i didn't do anything today so i'm gonna write down everything i'm gonna do tomorrow and then you wake up in the morning and you're like well shit i ain't done anything and i can't be bothered to get up early and i can't be bothered to even have a bath and brush my teeth so we've all been there if you start doing these little things it will help you out so much more so i hope you enjoyed that video guys and if you did make sure you give it a like a comment and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in my next one bye